can't act as though we're shutting the doors to people in need without undermining who we are as Americans and the values we have stood for. Hillary Clinton on the campaign trail earlier this month saying she's willing to accept Syrian refugees. The president wants to take in 10,000 refugees from Syria and move them into our country. But there are real questions as to whether or not we will really know who they are. And as the recent attacks in Paris show us, well, there are dangers in accepting some re re refugees. Still, the White House wants to quell fears. They put out this new video detailing what the refugee screening process looks like. But is this really accurate? And is it enough to assure Americans they'll be kept safe? For more, let's welcome in our panel. First, Skyping in from San Diego, immigration attorney Alex Ozels. And also with us from Nashville, Tennessee, Israel Ortega, writer for the conservative political news site Opportunity Lives. We welcome you both. And as we take a look at this, in terms of the numbers, 80% of Republican voters say no to refugees, but we're hearing the Democrats say, quote, taking in refugees in times of crisis is simply the right thing to do. Israel, is it the safest thing for us to do right now? Well, the, the fact is uh, that the American people have zero trust right now in the American government uh, and its administration. Uh, you mentioned that video that uh, DHS put out. Um, I'd love to see one for uh, how are we going to take on ISIL. I think that's why the American people are so uh, distrustful right now of the administration saying we're going to welcome refugees. I think, I think there ought to be uh, uh, accommodations for some refugees, but uh, this idea of, of just kind of rushing through the process um, does not sit well with me and I think with a lot of Americans. So, Alex, let me ask you, what about this screening process? Are, are we getting accurate information from the White House and DHS when it comes to these people being effectively screened and vetted? I think a lot of the information we're getting from everyone is a little bit off. And you nailed it on the head there saying the 10,000. Uh, we've recently heard uh, Donald Trump and a couple other candidates have said that President Obama is trying to let in 100,000, 250,000 uh, refugees. Um, that's not correct. The law says 85,000 a year for refugees and 10,000 from Syria. Now, further, recent studies have shown that only 2% of those refugees coming in are military-aged men. Um, yes, I think there needs to be, there needs to be further uh, procedures, and I don't know if they have those in place right now. I don't think they have them in place as serious as we need to get into these background checks. I agree there needs to be background checks, but I think that there needs to be a lot more. Um, I don't, I think that Hillary Clinton doesn't have it right quite yet. Well, here's the situation we're just hearing about today. Uh, the Drudge Report citing an article, and I forget the source, but it went back and checked green card holders right now from Muslim countries over the past five years number more than one half million, I think over 750,000. And it looks like if you would do that for the next five years, which apparently will go on, you would have a population of people from Muslim countries exceeding the current size of Washington, D.C. So Israel, is this a case again where the U.S. citing U.N. numbers are using numbers that are highly suspect? It's possible. And, and, and again, I think it's, it's, you know, I think the American people would be more welcoming and more accommodating. Uh, and this is, by the way, this is not just Republicans who are expressing concern. As you know, uh, a governor in, in, uh, in Maine, if I'm not mistaken, or New Hampshire, also um, sided with, with Republicans, on, on many Republican governors on this. Uh, just last week when the House voted on, on the Syrian refugee policies, a number of Democrats uh, also joined Republicans on this. And so uh, I think if, if the president had a clear plan, if he it was, was talking tough, uh, as we should be with, uh, on, when it comes to ISIL, I think that the American people would be more understanding and would be more accommodating when it comes to ref Syrian refugees. Alex, uh, let's move back to this, our southern border. And uh, recent reports indicate that 13 Syrian refugees have crossed it. And uh, now there is a second surge of unaccompanied juveniles crossing that border. Uh, we are seeing a change overall in political polls. According to the latest information we have, uh, Donald Trump suggesting illegals be deported. 52% of the voters agree. Have we seen now a sea change when it comes to the notion of illegals being offered accommodation 
in this nation? I think it's changing a little bit, but I, I do have to say, I think that it's because Donald Trump's going out there and he's, you know, saying these things and making these claims and he's doing it quite aggressively to try and get, you know, people watching and people uh, understanding what his cause is about. <clears throat> Living in San Diego, we live right by the border. Um, we don't see these issues every single day. Yeah, There's but isn't not that because you guys have a border wall because... Duncan Hunter Sr. and the other people in Congress actually had an effective wall built down at your border to your south? We do have a border wall uh, in San Diego. It's not, there's people that still cross and there's people that cross illegally. I don't, I wouldn't contribute, you know, lack of crime to be because of the border wall. This isn't something that's out of control. We don't see fires in San Diego and cars being tipped over and crime just because of these illegal immigrants. It's a portion of it. But it's not everything that has to do with the crime. Israel, final 20 seconds to you. Even being a portion, it is concerning. And the, the first act someone has in crossing our border illegally, that is a crime. That's why so many Americans are concerned, yep. are they not? Absolutely. Look, we're a country of immigrants, uh, but we're also a country of laws. And, uh, and I think the president sometimes forgets that. Forgets that. That's why... Uh, he was recently rebuked by the lower courts uh, on his unilateral immigration move. And so I think that's, that should be a guiding principle. It should be we're a country of laws, welcoming, but also there need to, needs to be a, a, a due process. Yeah, and to be welcomed, you have to be invited in. But we all give thanks that we are here in the United States. Alex from San Diego, Israel from Nashville, Tennessee. Gentlemen, you have our thanks and a happy Thanksgiving to you. And there is more ahead as we continue on this Thanksgiving Eve. Stay tuned.